I built a classic two screw anchor here connected with a pre-equalized double length sling. So I clipped those in, brought them down and tied it overhand to create a redundant master point. I'm going to clip myself in with there. And then I put my belay device on the shelf. And when I clip the shelf, it's one strand from each leg of the anchor. Let's see that there. Key with this, these screws is that they're in really solid ice in the base of this cave. Those, that often creates a good spot where the water flows rather than drips. If I place this other screw in the vertical ice, I'm likely to hit air pockets in this column. There's a, yep, all air. You can see that screw wobbling around. No bueno, but I won't even go in. Look at that. The flow ice at the base of the cave is really solid. I hit no air on either of those. So this is a quick, easy, simple setup. Typically two screws is unquestionably solid and great for an anchor. If I have the case where maybe one screw wasn't as solid as I'd like it to be, I'll place a third one and then equalize all of that load. If I build a three screw anchor, that requires a little bit longer material and I have to consider that I'm minus one screw on my next pitch. The material I have here is a triple length sling or I could use a cordelette. Another style ice anchor I can make is two screws connected with a quad style sling. So I've sunk my longest screw here. It was solid, hit no air pockets. I'm gonna put another blue screw in. I'm going to go at the base of this feature and I'm trying to get into different pieces of ice if I can. We have some vertical offset, some horizontal offset, and in two different pieces of ice. That's going all the way in and again no air pockets. Benefits of the quad, particularly in the ice discipline or that I don't have to spend time tying and untying this if it gets frozen or gets wet. It's easy to just pull out and still put to use. So key with the quad is to clip two of the four strands. People used to say three of four, but in reality that just leaves me clipped to one. So two of four. Clove hitch, locked, and I'm in. With this anchor on my really long screw here, I have a short leg with a locker, and that's in anticipation of the, using a fixed point belay to belay my leader. So quick and easy there, don't have to untie or retie it, simple two screw anchor. So a really nice element of the quad is that it allows me or my other climber to shift around. And it helps distribute the weight between those two screws more evenly. Same thing if I'm belaying a second up, I can be leaning to one side and that rope can travel freely. It doesn't pull me out of my stance. So it's great for comfort. Uh, same thing with stacking two climbers on here. We can each be on our own pocket of the quad and we're not pulling on each other. When we have crampons, ice screws, ice tools on us, that really adds to our comfort to not be pulling on each other. On low angle approach ice, I don't want to be tempted to short rope clients. That's bad news. So instead, I might go with a single screw anchor we're talking about low angle terrain, mostly walking and low consequence. I can just stand here at the belay. For a short step, I could just belay with a munter. If it's a longer pitch, it might be quicker for me to just run the rope length out and then belay with a, a plate. So for a long pitch, I can belay off a plate and just pull with both hands. There's very little friction. 
and then I can keep up with people who are moving quick. If I want to add a slightly more security, I can add a second screw. I measure carefully with my locker jaw, twist this up, and then when that tensions, we're weighting both screws fairly equally. We really want to avoid short roping on ice. So in low angle terrain, this is a quick, easy anchor to build, quick for clients to break down and get moving on the next pitch.